Alright, so today I want to show you how to create maps within Maya. And by maps, I mean how to bait normal maps, uh, things like transparency maps, diffuse maps, as well as others. So, what I have here, this is my setup. Uh, this is what the end result should be like. So, I wanted to show you just how to bake uh, a normal map and a transparency map. So, in this case, I have right here just a plane. This is already baked with the uh, maps uh, applied to the model so as you can see that's just a plane uh, flat plane right there and this is a model that I just made to test or to show you how to bake the normal map and the transparency map which is why I have like spaces here I want this exact thing to be uh, baked on this plane so let's go ahead and start from scratch a new scene okay so make sure you go to create polygon primitives and go to cube and zoom here I'm going to press 5 so I can see the shaded mode press R to scale that I'm going to scale this just a bit and I'm going to make it scale that this way and I'm just gonna make it flatter as well Okay, and this one, I want to. I want the edges to be beveled, uh, not hard this way. So I'm going to make sure you switch from the animation toolset to polygons, and I'll go to Edit Mesh, Bevel. I'm going to click on the Options box, and I'm just going to set it to three segments, and it doesn't really matter. This is just for just to show you how to do this. So bevel that. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. And I'm just going to duplicate this piece. Uh, press Ctrl D. And just move it to the side. Press W so you can move that. Ctrl D again and move that to the side. And let's do one more. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this one. Press E to rotate it. Just going to rotate it. And again, it doesn't really matter what exactly you you create it doesn't have to be the exact same thing I just again this is just to show you what I'm going for here I'm going to move this one up just a bit and control D duplicate it okay so this is what I have right here so basically I want to bake this as a texture I want it to on a flat plane because let's say this is for a game and I really want to have to model this let's say it's like a fence like a wire fence and I don't really want to like I don't want it to be a model I just want it to be a plane although actually that's not a good example you really wouldn't want to model the fence it would just you would just get a picture for that anyway let's go to create polygon primitives and just create a plane a flat plane Press R and scale that. It's got too many subdivisions, so I'm going to open my channel box, which is right here. If you don't have it open, just press Ctrl A. Click here and set the segments just to one. Let me move this thing. Okay. And I'm also going to move it up so that it actually. So basically, the. Uh, Normal map is going to be whatever's up here. Okay. Alright, and that should be good enough. I'm also going to freeze transform on this thing. And let's go ahead and delete history just in case. And let's just name it. Actually, it was already a good name, just plain. Oh, and these pieces, I want to combine all these pieces. So I'll select all those pieces. Just gonna select the whole thing and then I'm going to hold down control and drag over the plane so I don't select it. Go to mesh combine. And now this thing's just one piece and the plane's one piece. They're separate, okay? These two are separate. Okay, so now it's time to transfer the uh, the detail from this model to the plane. To bake it. So let's go to I'll go to switch my toolset again from polygons, this time to rendering. 
and go to lighting and shading and go to transfer maps just click that okay so here first we have to tell Maya what the target mesh is and by target mesh means uh, the things are going to bake to what exactly so we want the things to bake to be baked to the uh, plane so target mesh is going to be my plane I think it's already selected let me clear everything okay so select the plane go to target mesh and add selected so as you can see my plane is right there and source it's obviously the high poly in this case and add selected just there okay and now we can scroll down and here we can actually choose what we want to bake to the uh, plane so we have different choices like normal map, displacement map, diffuse, shaded, alpha, ambient and so on and more of course so in this case okay, let me remove these so these are not distracting okay so this is what yours should look like so I'm going to click on the normal one because I want to bake a normal map and you can click diffuse but in this case I don't I don't really want to do that I'm just a great uh, plane but you can do that if you want to let's go ahead and choose diffuse just just for the heck of it and then the alpha alpha meaning transparency okay also you can select the file type that you want I'm going to switch my my file types to targa it doesn't really matter what file type you choose but I just want to choose targa and you can also select the where exactly you want these uh, maps to be saved so uh, it's going to save a map that you can access anywhere like in Photoshop and you can uh, tweak it if you want to so uh, you here you can choose if you want the maps to be connected to the model in this case yes because we're going to be able to see it here in Maya I'm going to want to uh, connect everything manually we just want Maya to connect everything for us so yes a new shader that's fine here you can select the size I'm going to set it to 512, just a smaller size, and everything else should be this way. You can change the quality, uh, the higher you have it, the longer it's going to take for this to bake. I'm just going to keep it to a low, it, it should be fine. Mental rate common output, it's the uh, same thing. Again, normal samples is going to make it so that it takes longer for it to bake. But of course you're going to get a better quality of, for the map on the big alpha and the last one is the advanced options uh, which is it's uh, what the search method method will be <clears throat> so here I'm going to set it to closest to envelope sometimes you want to choose inside the envelope only and what the envelope is you can set it here if you want to see it on the display envelope it's basically the, uh, the source mesh okay and I, I think now we can just go ahead and bake it okay so just bake and close or just bake I'll just bake and close it okay so it just baked and now we can go ahead and see the results so I'm going to move this out of the way and right away you can see that there are no you don't see a difference here but of course you have to enable um, high quality render so you can click right here go in the render high quality rendering of viewport 2.0 uh, I'll just set it to high quality render and you also have to enable a uh, texture mode so you can see a texture so I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard and this is basically what I got and it's actually not exactly what I was hoping for so in this case as you can see I obviously did not uh, make sure that the options were right so as you can see it looks this looks really dark that's not really what it should be like so I'll just go ahead and set it back into place and this has to do with the envelope of the object so I'm going to go ahead and open that menu again you may have to reapply, reassign the target mesh and the source mesh. So basically, this time, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I can see the envelope. 
I can close these two envelope. Okay. Okay, so basically what I want uh, is to make sure that the envelope, which is this red thing, because at least includes the top. So I'm going to set it to 1.5 in this case. As you can see, it's on top of the model. So it's basically going to include, uh, it's going to make sure that this time, because on the last one, the top was not, was not included, which is why it was completely black. So this time it's going to include that so we can bake it okay and now that we baked it we can move that to the side and as you can see this time it's not dark as it was before so it was not included including those areas so as you can see now we can kind of see the um, well obviously we can see the transparency map is working fine and the normal map as well we can kind of see so again this is since this is just a plane it's kind of it's really settled you can't see it that much but there is normal map and you can kind of see the beveled uh, edges for this so that's basically what I wanted to show you was how to see the normal map how to bake a normal map and a transparency map to a plane within Maya and this is basically how you would do it and again you can also use other maps such as diffuse and others as well and those maps are saved within your computer and you can open them in Photoshop or any other program that you want okay